Bienvenidos and welcome to another episode of Spain on a Fork. Today we've got such a great show as we're going to make a restaurant quality dish using the most basic pantry staples. We're talking tuna meatballs with a spicy yogurt sauce. And let me tell you, these tuna meatballs have such a great texture and flavor to them. The spicy yogurt sauce gives them the perfect balance of goodness and it's all done in under 30 minutes. Folks serve these tuna meatballs as a tapas appetizer or even as a main course next to some fried potatoes in a garden salad. Either way, this is another dish that proves that less is more and the simple things are the best things. Really quick before we start, shout out to a couple of my patrons, Phil Segarra, David Machado, Tommy Williams, Jim Schaller, and Barbara Eastman. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. All right, let's just dive right into this. I'm gonna drain two cans of tuna in olive oil into a fine sieve with a bowl underneath. The size of the cans that I'm using are four ounces, which is 110 grams each. And we'll gently flake the tuna to remove any of the excess oil. You just wanna do this for a few seconds, otherwise you can easily dry up the tuna. Then we'll add the tuna into a large bowl, along with a quarter cup of plain breadcrumbs, which is 35 grams. Crack in two large eggs. Add one shallot that's been finely chopped. Finely grate in one clove of garlic. As always, if you don't have a grater, you can just finely mince it. And two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley, which is eight grams. Then we'll season with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a mix until it's well mixed together. Once it's well mixed, we'll push down on the mixture until we end up with a paste-like texture. To shape the meatballs, we'll grab a spoonful of the mixture and squeeze it in our hands. This is just to ensure that all the ingredients are well binded together. And we'll shape it into a ball that's slightly smaller than a golf ball. And if you see that your mixture is too wet to work with, you send in some more breadcrumbs and mix them into the mixture. Once all the meatballs have been shaped, let's start cooking them up. I'm going to heat a fry pan with a medium heat and add in three tablespoons of the reserved olive oil from the canned tuna, which is 45 milliliters. If you're using canned tuna and water for this recipe, just use regular olive oil. After a couple minutes and the oil is nice and hot, we'll add in the tuna meatballs. And you want to make sure they're on a single layer and evenly spaced out. And we're gonna go for about seven to eight minutes here or until those tuna meatballs are golden fried all around. And you don't have to mix these around continuously, but do get in there every minute or so, that way they all evenly cook. After about eight minutes and the tuna meatballs are golden fried, we'll remove them from the pan and set them aside. For the final step, let's make our spicy yogurt sauce, which just takes about one minute to put together. I'm going to add in half a cup of plain Greek yogurt into a bowl, which is 120 grams. Then we'll finely grate in one clove of garlic. Add one teaspoon of hot smoked Spanish paprika, which is two and a half grams. One teaspoon of fresh lemon juice, which is five milliliters. And one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, which is 15 milliliters. And then we'll season with sea salt and a generous portion of freshly cracked black pepper. And like I've told you in the past, that black pepper brings out an incredible flavor in the Greek yogurt. And we'll give it a whisk until we end up with a creamy sauce. To assemble a dish, we'll add in some of the tuna meatballs into a serving dish. Top them off with some of the spicy yogurt sauce. I'm using a mock piping bag here as it gives this dish a beautiful presentation, but you can just spoon the sauce over the meatballs if you like. 
and we'll sprinkle them with some chopped fresh parsley. Check it out, our tuna meatballs with a spicy yogurt sauce is done. Such a beautiful presentation, the simplest ingredients, and all done in under 30 minutes. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. Once again, folks, tuna meatballs with a spicy yogurt sauce. This I cannot wait to try. Here we go. Absolutely delicious. Absolutely gorgeous. It's such a, got such a great flavor. But most importantly, those tuna meatballs kept their shape. And of course, that spicy yogurt sauce, taking this to the next level. You saw this easy to make, very simple ingredients. Once again, serve these as a tapas appetizer. We're gonna have some main course next to some fried potatoes and a garden salad. Either way, this is what honest home cooking is all about. Enjoy today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon. That we can get notified every time I release new content and to become a part of the Spain on a fork family. Till the next time, hasta luego.